Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my series, Our Montessori Home, where I take you guys inside my home and show you our Montessori spaces. In today's video, I am showing you guys my kids' Montessori bedrooms. My name is Tara. I am a mom of two boys, a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and I make Montessori and motherhood videos here on my channel. Before we jump into the video, I do want to let you know that these spaces that you're going to see today are my bedrooms of my three-year-old and my five-year-old. So they are going to be Montessori spaces for children of those ages. I wanted to make sure I said that because this is a space for slightly older children so if you are looking for a space for a baby or a young toddler the space would need to be changed around a little bit to accommodate those ages. I'm starting off the video in my three-year-old's bedroom so let me grab the camera and show you around. Starting out on this side of the room we have my son's bed and his small bookshelf. Both of these items are from Sprout. Starting off at the bookshelf, we have at the very top my son's sound machine. I turn that on at night. That's a little bit too high for him to reach right now, but he can reach the top shelf here. So here I have just a wooden rainbow toy. This is the Grimm's mini rainbow. And then we have our mini Yoto player. There's not a whole lot of toys in his bedroom, but I do keep a few items here that he can play with whenever he is in his room. Currently, he has been really into birds, so he has a basket of different bird characters, and then he also has a puzzle from Love Every. And then at the bottom, he has some vehicles. My three-year-old really loves vehicles, so we have a school bus, a dump truck, and then a basket of cars. Lucas did get a guitar for Christmas, so we're just keeping the guitar in his room right now and it's just sitting next to the bookshelf and he's been having fun playing with it. Behind me, I have my son's bed. This is the Sprout Sosta bed. I love this bed because it is a bed that can grow with your child. I'm a huge fan of furniture that grows with your child. There's so many different configurations that you can do. You can do a floor bed without any rails. You can do a floor bed with just the headboard or you can do the sides or without the sides. There's also legs that you can add onto this bed so it can be a normal twin size bed. If I had an infant or a younger toddler, I would probably still purchase this bed and I'd probably have it set up just as you see here. I just wouldn't have any of the bedding or stuffed animals on it. It would just be a mattress with a fitted sheet on top. But since my son is three, he's capable of having a pillow and a blanket and stuffed animals. The next area in my son's room is our reading nook. As you can see behind me, I have the Sprout bookshelf and then I have a bean bag. This bean bag is from Pottery Barn Kids. And then I have a basket over here of stuffed animals and then another basket with some blocks. Often in Montessori bedrooms you will see a bookshelf with the books displayed forward facing. This is because it is a lot easier for children to be able to see and choose which books they want to read when they're facing this way versus when they're just stacked next to each other. It also eliminates a big mess because whenever we have books stacked together my kids want to take out every single book so they can see the cover. This way they can see all the covers and all they have to do is pick out their one book. Also behind me, you will see that there is a poster and it's hanging pretty low on our wall. And that is because I like to have some artwork that's at my child's level. This is their room after all, and it kind of stinks for them to have to look up all the time to see their artwork. It's nice to have some on eye level. For a while now, my son has had like a space themed bedroom. So this kind of just went along with it. I am actually planning on changing this out soon to match more of my son's interests, which happen to be more like birds and dinosaurs, but for now I still have that hanging up there. And he really enjoys going over there and pointing out all the different planets, so it's been a nice little piece of artwork to have at his level on the wall. The next area in my son's room is our rocking chair. This is just the rocking chair that I had in both of my kids' nurseries, and it just hasn't left my son's room. Even though he's three, we still really enjoy snuggling here at night and in the morning, and until he's done wanting to give me snuggles, I'm going to keep this right here in his room. I do also have a dresser in my son's room. On the top of this dresser, I have a little light here. This is just kind of like an extra light. To be honest, it does not stay on at night because we do have his hatch light, which turns from green for waking up and like a little amber color for a night light at night. There's also a little fake plant there. Oh, and on this side we have our molecule air purifier. 
The next area in my son's room is his little potty area. We have been transitioning him to using the larger potty, but sometimes we do still use this one, so I'm keeping it in here for now. The only thing over here is his small potty. This is the baby Bajorn potty and then a basket of his underwear. Above, I do have a small mirror that is just his height that he can look in when he's getting ready or if he just wants to see himself. Ideally, I would like a full-size mirror, but this is the one that we have in here for now. Many Montessori bedrooms have a dressing wardrobe. You'll actually see that in my five-year-old's bedroom, but for my three-year-old's, his closet actually has this very low bar going across it, and I thought this was the perfect height for him to hang his clothes on. So instead of buying another dressing wardrobe for him, um, I've just utilized this section of his closet to hang his clothes in, and then I also have this drawer system right here beside it and this has really worked well as a makeshift dressing wardrobe for him. Typically for my three-year-old I keep three to five outfits hung up here where he can reach and choose from each day. One of the key things in Montessori is to try to give your child independence where you can and one of the ways I can give my three-year-old independence is by choosing his own outfits. So what I choose to do is put together a pair of pants and a shirt that match and hang them out on a hook like this and allow him to choose from the options that I've laid out. I always try to make sure that I have options that are weather appropriate so I would never put a pair of shorts and a t-shirt hanging up here in the middle of winter and vice versa because I always want to be able to say yes to whatever he chooses. So if there is an outfit I don't want him to wear I will not put it here as an option for him. So this is the system that I have that works for my house. Um, here you can see I have a basket. This is the laundry basket where my son can put his dirty clothes. Before I move on to my five-year-old's bedroom, there are just a couple of other things I want to show you here in my three-year-old's bedroom. And the first thing is behind me, it is this light switch extender. This light switch is actually just slightly too high for my three-year-old to be able to reach. I think he's really getting close to being able to reach these switches, but it is much easier for him to use this light switch extender. So if you have a young toddler, a light switch extender could be a great accessory for you to buy for your child's bedroom or playroom or other areas that you want them to be able to reach the switch. And in case you're wondering how it works, there's just kind of a little tab right here that the child can grab and pull down or push up on and it turns the lights on and off. The next thing I wanted to show you are the ways that I've baby proofed the room or just tried to make the room safer for my three-year-old. One of the ways that I've done this is by covering up all of the outlets with these outlet protectors. I really like these kind because they are harder for children to get out. You have to be able to push that button and push the sides in at the same time. For the outlets where things are actually being plugged into, I found these outlet covers on Amazon. Another area of safety is with our cameras. We've installed these brackets here to cover the wires, so it just allows our child not to go and mess with those and pull the wire down. So as you can see, that goes there and then goes all the way over to where it is plugged in. The final way I've tried to make this room safer is with the blinds. These are blinds that do not have a cord that dangles so the child cannot get tangled into the cord. As you can see, the cord is on this pulley system so it, there are no dangling cords for his room. All right, I am now in my five-year-old's bedroom. It is the next day, so I have changed clothes, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys just a quick view of what my five-year-old's Montessori bedroom looks like. Starting off in this section of my son's bedroom, you will see behind me that I have a wardrobe. This is the Sprout Alba Montessori Children's Wardrobe. If you're interested in the Sprout wardrobe or you have questions about it, I actually have two videos up on my channel that really go into depth about the wardrobe and why we use it. So I'll make sure I have those videos linked for you guys. Montessori wardrobes are great for kids because it gives them independence around clothing and picking out their own clothes and dressing themselves. And it's at their height, like most closets, unless you have a setup like I do with my three-year-old's room, the bars are really high and they can't reach. Sometimes drawers and dressers can be really difficult for children to open. This wardrobe is really easy for small children to be able to view and access their items. So I 
really love it. Just like with my three-year-old, I hang up my five-year-old's clothes right here. And then these drawers are where we keep his socks and underwear and pajamas. So all of those things are here and he can access them himself. Next to the wardrobe, I have his dirty clothes basket so he can put his own clothes in here when he's getting changed. And then we also have a mirror here that is at his height so he can see himself. Just like my three-year-old's bedroom, I do have a reading nook in my five-year-old's room. So we have the same Pottery Barn bean bag with a couple of pillows and the same forward-facing bookshelf here where my son can keep all of his books that he wants to read. Next to the bookshelf, you might notice that we have this small table. This is the Sprout Chowky floor table. Often you'll find these floor tables in Montessori classrooms. They allow children to be able to work while sitting on the floor and they can bring their activities to this and work like a little desk. So instead of having a traditional desk in my child's room, I decided to get one of these tables because it's a great place for him to work on his Legos or coloring or other projects that he might be doing in his bedroom. He can either sit here or he can move it around his room as needed. We do have a traditional dresser in this room. This is mostly used for storage, so I keep out of rotation clothes in here, like his summer clothes during the winter time, or if I have extra clothes that are not being hung up in his wardrobe, they'll also be stored here. We have his nightstand right here. This nightstand has his Yoto player on it and his Yoto cards he keeps inside the drawers right here. My five-year-old has a full-size bed. This was actually his crib that was able to convert to a full-size bed. I think we moved him to the full-size bed when he was about four years old. It was a crib that went from a crib to a toddler bed to a full-size bed. My five-year-old also has a little bookshelf next to his bed. On his bookshelf, he just has a lamp. Then he has his spaceship piggy bank as well as his sound machine. My five-year-old and I have been reading chapter books together at night, so these are the two that we are reading currently. On the bottom part of this bookshelf is where he keeps all of his stuffed animals. My five-year-old is really into Hot Wheels, so he does keep his Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage in his room as well. This corner of the room is where my son stores his monster trucks and his Hot Wheels. I found this storage system at Target and it's been working really well since he does have quite a few vehicles and tracks. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our Montessori bedrooms. That's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, you wanna make sure that you are subscribed because I put out new videos every week. I will see you in my next video. Bye.